Today, I, the Culture of Currency, have a special treat for you. I asked five questions to some gold and silver YouTube channels that I find highly informative. In this short series, you will get to hear their answers so that you understand who they are and why they do what they do. Each of us collects or stacks metal, like silver or gold, for our own unique reasons. Today we get to highlight one of our own as we dive deep into the Austrian stacker, which has been the most supportive friend of the culture of currency and has been cheering me on from the beginning of my channel. His channel is remarkable and I honestly think it is well worth a watch no matter where you live as there are many crazy things happening in Europe and many of those things affect metals prices. Austrian Stacker is one of the only European channels that talks metals in a way that helps me understand the Euro market as well as the beautiful products from that side of the world. He is truthful and he keeps politics to a minimum as he works to find areas of conversation that focus on bringing people together rather than dividing them. Austrian Stacker currently has about 2.6 thousand subscribers and 528 videos. And what I love is that yes, we have tons of stuff about metals and all that, but it's not just about that. He also brings in the European lifestyle. He has amazing shorts and, and full length videos about things in Austria and different places that he gets to travel just being geographically in a cool location. But yes, he has his unboxings, his coin shop reviews, live streams, coins, rounds, bars, all that kind of stuff. He does challenges where he tries to fill tubes of gold. Uh, but yeah, just an amazing, amazing channel, an amazing guy. And so I asked him five questions, and his answers, I think, are remarkable and something that I think you would want to hear so that you can go over there uh, and find a new channel to subscribe to. My first question was, what started your journey in metals? That's a question I think that all of us have a different answer to. This was his answer. My grandmother, and he's Austrian by the way, so I have to make sure that, you know, if there's any English problems I might have to, <laughs> no, just kidding, he's great. He said that his grandmother gave him a Ducat for Christmas when he was a kid. She survived World War II and the crash of three different currencies that's why she always bought gold instead of saving money. I think that's something that's very interesting and an amazing answer to the question. And here's why. In America, yes, we've gone through uh, wars and things like that in the past, but there's not really anyone living that has lived in America their entire life where they've seen currencies really just be destroyed and have to be reinvented, things like that. So the idea of somebody living in a European country that survived World War II in the crash of three different currencies, and so you buy gold for stability, that's a very interesting thing that I'd, I can't personally identify with. Uh, I mean, I had grandmother who went through the Great Depression in America, and that was a reason why they started to buy stuff, and that's the closest thing I have, but that's a very cool answer, Austrian stacker. Question number two, why do you feel the need to start a YouTube channel? Here's Austrian Stacker's answer. Because European countries are underrepresented in precious metals collecting and stacking community. So Austrian Stacker wanted to share his journey with the community friends and other people and learn from those other people as well. Uh, and, and I am right there along with you, Austrian Stacker. Uh, I started this channel for a couple of reasons myself. One is that it was a journey I was unfamiliar with so I had no idea what I was getting into but ultimately it was because I saw a lot of people online at that time this is a few years back and everything was based on fear everything was you need to buy this because you know there's impending doom the markets will crash and you need to be financially solvent in your own uh, right and for me it was something I thought was missing was the content on the beauty and the history and the culture of these images that we're seeing on this silver and gold. Uh, I thought that was something that when we look at coins, we should see more of uh, instead of just the intrinsic value. So that's why I started mine. And 
Austrian stacker started his because he was in a community where in European countries there wasn't a whole lot of stuff. So good stuff there. Question three. This is an important one that if you're not a YouTuber and you just like to watch, but you like to comment, this is the question I would like you to answer, which is question three. When you look back at your life at 90, what will you be most proud of? Austrian Stacker said, I hope my friends and family say that I'm a good man and true when I am 90. That would make me most proud. That honestly is a perfect answer. I think a lot of times when we think about our life and where we are, we focus on the things. We focus on the house, the car, the money, the job. Uh, but when we're 90 and our life is all but spent, it's the intangibles, I think, that matter the most. And so I think you're spot on there, Austrian Stacker. All of you in the comments, I would love to know when you're 90, what is the thing that you will be most proud of when you're looking back at your life? Question number four. If you could have only one coin from your collection, what would it be? This one I found to be the most moving. Austrian Stacker's answer was, the coin my grandfather found in the concentration camp where he was imprisoned for refusing to join the NSDAP, which if you don't know what that is, that's the National Socialist German Workers' Party. Uh, so basically, the ideologic center of Nazism. Uh, and he also refused to join the Wehrmacht, which is going to be the military arm of the Nazi party. So here we are with a grandfather who found a coin when he was imprisoned at a concentration camp for refusing to join the Nazi party in Austria. Wow. That, that to me, that is a heck of a amazing story and I would love to know what that coin is uh, because I would like to have one in my collection so that every time I look at it I'm reminded of somebody who stood up at the pain of death for the right thing that is something that in every country we could use more of wow what an awesome answer and question number five if you were in control of the bullion industry what changes would you make Here's Austrian Stacker's response. I would regulate premiums for all companies selling and buying precious metals. Gold and silver should be available for all people. This is a great answer, and honestly, I've asked these five questions of a couple of channels, and you'll be getting those videos here shortly. But that is something that is pretty transparent through everybody, is the way that premiums are uh, seems to be a little bit unfair and unfavorable to people like us. So that is a very, very good answer to this question. So those are five questions that I posed to the Austrian stacker. Those are his answers. I find them to be unique, engaging, entertaining, just like his channel is. And I hope that you will check his channel out. Um, before we go, however, I did see a coin come across the wire that I thought was really, really cool. It's on sale this next couple of days on Atmex. Uh, this is from the British Antarctic Territory, which is something I didn't even think they recognized as a country. But it's a couple of penguins on a coin, and it's currently on sale. It says 23% off the premium. So if you're one of those that's like me that likes to collect stuff from all over the world, this is the British Antarctic Territory 2023 silver penguin. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you remember to stay glassy and current with the culture of currency.